Swelling in your ankles, in your feet, and in your toes can be really stubborn and difficult to get rid of. They are furthest from your heart and gravity is not their best friend. So it is common when they are the first things to swell up and the last things to shrink with lymphedema, pregnancy, or other vein-related swelling such as venous insufficiency. My name is Kelly and I'm a physical therapist and I specialize in oncology, lymphedema, and women's health. And in this video, I'm gonna share different tips and tricks to finally get that swelling out of the ankles, feet, and the toes. If you deal with lymphedema, chronic swelling, cancer, or women's health issues, be sure to subscribe down below for weekly videos on ways to help minimize your symptoms so you can get back to focusing on what's most important in life. So most commonly, people will try to use compression stockings or compression garment. So compression bandages and compression stockings are used to help decrease the fluid from your legs. However, due to the shape of your ankle with the extra bony areas and tendon areas on your feet and on your toes, getting rid of the fluid from this area can be extremely difficult and challenging. So let's start with the ankles. The bones on the outside of your ankles, called the malleoli, protrude outward, which leaves this crevice for the fluid to sit around there. When you place a compression stocking or bandage over the top of this area, they aren't gonna do a great job of sinking into these crevices. And therefore, your swelling is going to linger. So we need to think about filling in this gap or crevice. Using a piece of gray foam or one of these complex pads can do a great job of fitting into these areas. For gray foam, you can cut whatever shape or size you want. And for the complex pads, they are very durable and they can last a really long time. You can fit them around the ankle bone or wherever you may have most of the swelling and then use your bandages or your stockings and put the compression over the top of them. They are pretty cheap and they can last a really long time, especially these complex pads. And I will place a link down below for where you can purchase these items and you can go ahead and grab one for yourself. For the foot and ankle area, when we use compression bandages for a few weeks routinely, it does a pretty good job of reducing your swelling. However, when you move into a compression stocking, a lot of times because of the change in compression gradient, the feet and the ankles will swell back up. For those who've had a surgery for their lymphedema, many times the feet and the ankles will still linger with extra fluid. So an easy option to help manage that extra fluid in the foot and ankle long-term with your stockings is to add another layer, such as an anklet. A compression anklet is a great, cheaper way to give proper compression. They're thin enough so they don't add a lot of bulk, so when you're trying to get your shoes on, it's not a lot more layering. And they come off the shelf and you can get them for under $20. Having a pair or two in your drawer and ready for the days that you need a little extra compression is a great idea and can be a really helpful tool in your toolbox. In the description below, I've placed a link of where you can purchase these anklets so you can go ahead and stock up on the best ones now. For swelling on the top of the foot, you can add something like gray foam or you can go ahead and stock up on something that's gonna be a little bit more durable like a swell spot or a swell pad. These come in various shapes and sizes, so you can find what size you need best, and from there you can put that underneath your bandages for an easy way to help shrink down your fluid and break up any fibrotic or thicker tissue. These can also be purchased for really cheap online, and I will place a link down below for my favorite shapes for the top of the foot. So the last piece to address are the toes. Using elastomal gauze for a lot of people is not a great option because it's not enough. So we have a couple different options for those of you with that stubborn toe swelling. For general toe swelling, you can try something such as Coban gauze. They now make a two inch option, which creates a toe box, so to speak, for great localized compression. Some will try wrapping the gauze around each individual toe, but you wanna make sure that you work with your therapist to make sure that this is safe for you. However, for those with moderate to severe toe swelling, I have found a trick that works even better than the Coban gauze. Using gray foam underneath your elastomal gauze cut into a certain shape can really help give a great compression on the toes and does a better job of getting the fluid finally moving out of there. So let me show you how to do it. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we have our gray foam and our elastomal ready. We have a little pair of scissors as well. 
And so what we're going to do is to take a gray foam, we're gonna think about similar to how we would put gray foam over the foot, but instead of stopping it at the toes, what we're gonna do is make it long enough to cover the toes. We'll take our gray foam and we'll put it at the edge and along the side, and we're gonna measure basically about to where your ankle is, and we're gonna cut that down so we've measured it down and so we want to make sure that it's wide enough so what I'm going to do is cut where it hits the other edge of the foot and we'll trim that down. Okay, put that aside. So from there to shape the feet or the toes, what I want to think about or you want to look at is what toes are swollen. For some people it will be all four toes, usually because the little toe doesn't usually swell, or it may just be the first one or the first two, whatever it is for you. I'm just going to say it's my first two toes that are swollen and then the other three are not. So what I want to think about doing is cutting this in slits where the toes would be so then we'll use the elastomal wrapping over. So my first toe will probably be about there and that will be about the length of the toe, an inch or two. And then same thing, I'm gonna do another little slit for the next toe. So we have two toe pieces there. And then because I don't wanna do the other three, I'm just gonna trim off the edge of this. But again, if you have swelling in all of your toes, you'll make it for the others. So I'm just gonna trim this down and take that piece off. And from there, now I have two extra pieces for those first two toes. So what we'll do from there, you can trim this, smooth this out so it doesn't irritate your ankle, making this a little bit rounder or shape it however else you need to for yourself or if you're a certified lymphedema therapist for your patients. You can also bevel the edges as you normally would. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the elastomol and we're going to bandage as we normally would with the toes, but the gray foam is just gonna be underneath. We'll start at the base of the foot or base of the toes and wrap around to anchor it. I'm gonna wrap a second one to hold the foam on still. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to bandage over the toe by coming to the top edge with the gray foam and taking the elastomol over the gray foam, lap overlapping about 50%, giving a little bit of stretch and making our way all the way down. And if you have a little bit of a stubborn area, you can always add another layering but you're really just covering that foam. And then we'll go around as you normally would. And then we'll come, rearrange the foam, but then we'll come back down over the next toe, making sure that you give good compression all the way around till you get to the base. Okay, and then from there, we would just wrap the rest of the toes as you normally would but making sure you don't wrap the little toe or the fifth toe as it usually does not swell and it tends to get irritated with that extra compression. And then we'll do the fourth one as we normally would. And then from there, you can either cut off the excess after we anchor again, or you can go back and wrap a little bit more or we'll just tuck that in after we cut that off and there's your toe wrapping. There are so many different ways and options to help shrink the swelling in your ankles, your feet, and your toes. However, these are just a few special ways that I have found that work best for those who don't typically shrink well with standard compression. If you have any other tips or tricks that worked really well for you, be sure to share those down below. Make sure to press the like button if you found this video helpful and we'll see you all at the next video. Thanks everyone.